Hello and welcome back to AmbiV. I'm Casper and today we're going to take a look at how to diagnose fluid leaks on an engine using the 1967 Mustang. Behind me you can see the 1967 Mustang. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that I've just installed a new engine in the car. It's a Roller 302 from Blueprint Engines and I have a small issue with a fluid leak accumulating on the back of the water pump. Now this can either be engine oil or coolant, but I don't want to start taking things apart in order to try diagnosing it. So the best course of action here is to separate the two and determine them individually. Determining whether it's engine oil is very simple. I can use something as simple as this AC Delco die and this black light with these horrible looking yellow glasses to determine if I have an active oil leak. By adding this dye to your engine oil, if you take it for a drive and then use the light on the engine bay, specifically where you think a leak is occurring, you should see something fluoresce. This glows very brightly under a black light. Now, if I see no illumination after installing this dye, then it's probably either not a very active or current oil leak, or it's a cooling leak. And to diagnose a cooling leak is an entirely separate methodology in which we will pressurize the cooling system and see how long it takes to lose pressure. For this video, let's focus on putting some dye in the car and see if anything glows. Looking at the front of the engine here, we can see where the fluid had been. So the fluid was accumulating along the front of the water pump there, or the spacer between the water pump body and the front of the block, and it was accumulating down in these little wells. I believe it is potentially coolant, but to rule out oil coming from up top and working its way down there, I'll be adding the dye to the engine and then running for a little while. To make sure I don't have any contamination already here that's gonna confuse me, I've hosed down the engine with non-chlorinated brake clean, sprayed it off with an air gun, and then wiped off anything else that uh, looked like it still had some residue on it. There is sometimes oil on the distributor, but I think that's being blown back by the radiator fan from other things that I was doing. And I can't tell for sure if it's just dirt and grime or actual oil. So now that everything's fairly clean, we should be able to get a result. So I'm going to drive into town, get some coffee, come back and see what I can see. A few moments later. Now that we're back from the test drive, let's go ahead and check out the scene and see if we can see any illumination. So first step, let's turn off the lights. If the camera's picking it up there, you should be able to see some slight green glow formed down around the bottom of the distributor, kind of off to the side here of the intake plenum. Now that looks to me like the silicone at the base there has been leaking, allowing some engine oil to push through, and it's draining down onto the gasketing of the water pump. So either the problem is entirely an oil leak, or it's at least partially to blame. And so to solve this problem, I need to pull this manifold back off and put a better bead of silicone in here. Well, it was very evident that we do have an oil leak on the front of the engine near the intake manifold. Now, more likely than not, this is simply a case of me not building enough silicone or letting the silicone cure long enough before I put the manifold in place. But I will pull it and fix it on another weekend because I don't have time this weekend for everything I'd like to do. In order to get to this, I will have to pull the distributor. And while I'm at it, I actually want to replace the valve covers and rework the headers. Those cheap Chinese headers have been nothing but a problem. And I also need to add a new O2 sensor bung in the exhaust while I'm at it. So that'll happen in a later video. If you're doing something similar and need to diagnose an oil leak on your own engine, I would highly recommend just ordering this AC Delco. I got this stuff off of Amazon, I think it was under 10 bucks. It's a cheap solution to find out whether or not you need to order a kit of some sort of seals and it prevents you from having to do the labor of taking something apart to find out if it looks like it's leaking. If you have any other questions about the process or would like to see me do the pressure test, just leave them in the comments down below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.